Well, good afternoon, everyone. So good to see you all here, and especially good to have uh, my friend and colleague, Farmer Mr. Wong, here with us today. Um, we have the very important Altman discussions tomorrow uh, with um, our two uh, defense secretaries. But uh, for today, we have an opportunity to spend some time uh, and go over the extraordinarily broad and deep agenda that joins Australia and the United States together. Uh, before I begin, though, uh, a few words on the situation in the Middle East because it is a critical moment. We are engaged in intense diplomacy, um, pretty much round the clock, with a very simple message. All parties must refrain from escalation. All parties must take steps to ease tensions. Escalation is not in anyone's interests. Uh, it will only lead to more conflict, more violence, more insecurity. It's also critical that we break this cycle by reaching a ceasefire in Gaza. Um, that, in turn, will unlock possibilities for more enduring calm, not only in Gaza itself, but in other areas where the conflict uh, could spread. So for the United States, for many other countries, both in the region and beyond, uh, this is our focus. And what it comes down to, really, is all parties finding ways to come to an agreement, not look for reasons to delay or to say no. Um, it is urgent that all parties make the right choices in the hours and days ahead. Now, turning to uh, our partnership with Australia. Uh, there's a lot to be said about that, but for today, I just want to focus quickly on the two agreements that we're about to sign. Um, one of them is uh, something that takes forward a partnership that we've been engaged in for a long time, and that's the Landsat Next 2030 International Partnership Initiative. Uh, having Australia as a founding partner um, is both um, important in and of itself, but I think it also sends a very strong message to um, many others, because what we have with this initiative is an ability to really leap forward in how we map and how we monitor the planet's environment uh, and its natural resources. And what this partnership does is it will facilitate targeted resource uh, exploration. It will uh, allow us to focus on our supply chain development for critical minerals. Uh, Australia is part particularly well positioned to play a critical role in this, a central role in Landsat Next's uh, success, providing critical ground station infrastructure, personnel, services, uh, and science, all in support of a critical mission. This is, for us both, I think, a great example of how the United States and Australia are building together an innovation alliance, um, as the Prime Minister and President set it forward, and tackling climate change and doing it together. Second, we'll be uh, signing a Memorandum of Understanding on combating state information manipulation. This is basically uh, a partnership to work together even more effectively on combating misinformation and disinformation. We know that around the world, we're in an environment in which Misinformation and disinformation is, unfortunately, a tool of choice for countries that are in adversarial relationships with both of our countries. Uh, Australia is now the 20th country to sign an agreement with us. Uh, we have agreements with uh, European partners, African partners, and East Asia, uh, and other places, all of whom have uh, endorsed this framework. And it allows us to work together to identify misinformation and disinformation, uh, and then to take effective steps together to combat it. Uh, sharing best practices, uh, sharing other tools that we've developed, building greater resilience uh, in our civil society, our institutions, strengthening information integrity across the entire digital ecosystem. Uh, through this MOU, the United States and Australia intend to expand information sharing and pursue complementary approaches to this threat across the Indo-Pacific. So we're grateful for this new partnership that um, builds on so many others we have. We'll talk about a lot more tomorrow when we have a chance to um, uh, gather with, uh, with the press after Osman. But for today, I just wanted to put a brief focus on the two agreements we'll sign. Uh, Penny, with that, over to you. 
Thank you very much, uh, Tiny, and it's wonderful to be here in Washington. It's great to see you again. It's, we, we, we've been hanging out a fair bit lately, <laughs> and we're really, I'm really enjoying it, uh, but it's particularly um, gratifying to be uh, back here in uh, Washington for the Osmin Talks. Um, can I start by echoing Secretary Blinken's comments about the Middle East, and, and Australia joins with the, uh, the United States' call for de-escalation. Uh, we endorse again uh, the ceasefire that President Biden uh, uh, has placed on the table and which has UN Security Council uh, endorsement. Uh, and we join with the Secretary in the comments he's made about uh, a cycle of violence. The cycle of violence continuing uh, leads us to simply more violence, more conflict, more insecurity and more lives lost. Uh, so, again, uh, thank you for the work you're doing to try and forge a ceasefire, uh, uh, Tony, and, and we, uh, we continue to support you in your leadership on, for those efforts. Um, uh, as I said, it's, it's fantastic to be here, and I'll just make some brief comments. I'll make some comments, uh, obviously, tomorrow, but about our partnership. Um, the the US-Australia alliance is it's more than history or tradition. It is that. Uh, but it is a living expression of two countries that are, are aligned. Uh, we're aligned by who we are, uh, what we stand for, and what we want. Uh, two robust democracies whose people's voices and values are heard and protected by the rule of law, and both of us home to ancient cultures and generations of immigrants, two countries that share an interest in a world that's open, stable, and prosperous, in which all of us can make our own sovereign choices. Uh, we recognise again uh, that the choices we have had and that we continue to have uh, 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 demand uh, the US engagement, the US security guarantee, which has enabled the long period of stability and prosperity we have enjoyed in the Indo-Pacific, which remains as vital today as ever, as ever. I said we are united and aligned by who we are, what we stand for and what we want. And the two agreements today uh, are a demonstration of that. Uh, the Landsat, uh, the next Landsat agreement, uh, we've been working together on uh, uh, these uh, technologies for many years. This is the next generation. This is about economic engagement, technology engage, technological engagement. Uh, I'm really pleased uh, to see the long-standing partnership continue. In fact, I think that uh, what we're signing today looks to a, a launch in 2030 or 2031. So it speaks to the, the, the uh, our trust in one another uh, in this area uh, and how much we will work together uh, for this uh, technological cooperation. In relation to uh, for the foreign interference, I'd make this point. You know, we, we're democracies. Uh, and we understand that part of what we do together, together in the world is to protect uh, our political systems, our political traditions, our, our values. Uh, and that requires us to stand together against many risks and threats and challenges, and one of those is foreign interference. So we, you know, the integrity of our democracies matters to us all. So really pleased to, to work uh, with you uh, on that. Uh, Looking forward tomorrow uh, to uh, the work at, at Osmin. Uh, always a pleasure to meet with you and the Secretary of Defence, uh, such good friends of Australia's. Uh, but I'm particularly um, looking forward to, uh, as always, such a creative and interesting and open and trusting discussion about how we continue to strengthen and modernise our alliance. Thanks very much for having us. US-Australia collaboration on building resiliency within civil society institutions and information ecosystems against disinformation. It is the result of increased cooperation between the US and Australian governments to identify and counter foreign state information manipulation. The joint communique on the Landsat Next Satellite Program recognizes Australia as a partner in the Landsat Next Satellite Mission, which will provide critical insights into the Earth's land surfaces, surface waters, and coastal regions. 
The partnership builds on a half century of cooperation between the United States and Australia in Earth observation missions. All right.